Thank you so much for staying tuned. If you just joined us in the party security situation in Edo State, and we are taking a look at the impact of vigilantes in this state. And I have three amiable gentlemen here in the studio. I kind of like this discussion because it is um, a matter of four. Uh, and of course, again, though they are moving towards the same direction, but you get to see different thoughts from different angles. Barista Cosmos, where we took before, went on that break. Continue with the point you were given. Also, my position is, has always yeah. remained simple. They are saying that they want to be paid. I'm saying that no. Hmm. You agreed when you joined, it was voluntary. Yeah. Now you're not saying you want to be paid. It is not a right if to say to demand money. If the government decides to give you money, it's a privilege. Moreover, I'm sure the government also, the government also would have taught it the other way around. In the presence of being volunt voluntary, mm. you recorded uh, successes. Mm. I tell you, by the time they start paying them now, you will discover that, one, those who were actually doing the job will be skimmed out. Mm. Ghost workers will come in. Those who are not ready to do job at all will come in. And at the end of the day, nothing will happen. Everything will collapse. That's when you begin to see cousins, in-laws, party members, and all. Everything will collapse. Mark my words. <clears throat> Another aspect of it is, oh, there's something I wanted to say. But anyway, maybe I'll continue. As Sam continues, you remember. Oh, now, now, now he raised a valid point. So once you get money involved, the system will collapse because he talked about affiliations, party members, causing sisters, they want to be part of the group. And yeah, the main persons now. that are involved in this will be screened out of the process. What do you feel about that? Now, thank you very much. You see, there is someone who was defining the difference between corruption and connection. Mm. And he said, if you do not benefit from the act, it is corruption. But if you benefit, it is connection. 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 Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> now, I was trying to talk on law, moral, and religion. Yes. As far as the law is concerned, those who have volunteered to partake as vigilantes do not have the right to demand for remuneration mm. from the government or from anybody. That is the law. But you have what is called the moral obligation. Sometimes you say religious obligation. But unfortunately, moral obligation cannot be enforced. Religious obligation also are mostly not enforced. Now, we are now calling on the government, the philanthropist, place of worship, every one of us, let us be morally obligated to come to the aid of the vigilantes. Because they are taking risks. To corroborate what uh, Vara I said the other time, one of my friends who is uh, one of the hunters, he's not a vigilante, he's a hunter. I called him on my way to the studio. And he said most of the time, when they have incidents of kidnapping, that they as hunters, they go into the bush and come the bush, the forest. Because as hunters, they, they know, know the paths. And they're part of the vigilante. So that's what I'm talking a, about. There, there was a woman who was kidnapped yeah. and was able to escape. She said what made her to escape was when the kidnappers had the gunshots of the hunters, they became scared mm. and they lost guard. They were not after now keeping them as hostages. They were after subgetting them live. Yes. Yeah. So then she was able to escape. So now the hunters, they complement the efforts of the security agencies, the same thing the vigilantes are doing. So we owe them the moral duty, every one of us, to ensure that we retain them, to encourage them. And then for those of us who have also volunteered, if you happen to die in the course, it's not a regretful death. But because we believe in this world and not the hereafter. You see, when you, have, when you, when you decide to do something for yeah. the sake of Almighty God, mm -hmm. and you believe in one God, mm -hmm. and you die in the cause, of course, you uh, are barista, coming to paradise. They are not doing this to die. They are doing this to survive. We are talking of in case. In case. In case it happens. Mm -hmm. And that explains why some of them are so bold mm -hmm. that you see them, they will go into the bush and come to the forest. All right. All right. I, I'll come back to you, Barrister. Well, Obari, you heard him say that they die in course of duty, service to humanity. 
they should just not feel bad about it. Now, off camera, uh, Brazil talked about some vigilantes being able to afford guns, being able to afford, you know, bullets. As in these guys, you can't just assume that they are poor for you to get a gun of over or close to half a million. Yeah. And of course, you have bullets from 16,000 per pocket. That means you are in money. Why would you need assistance? How many of them were able to purchase the gun? Hmm. I think maybe I'll take uh, a swipe and buy stuff. Maybe tomorrow I'll squeeze out time. Hmm. Two or three hours. I'll squeeze out time. We'll squeeze. We'll go and meet these people. I'll show in different offices. There's one at Alosa. There's one at uh, close to the palace where the, 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 the leg doctor is. Hmm. There's one again in uh, Atwingo. There's one at Sakumba. So we'll just go around. Uh, you see that. What those people, the barristers say the bourgeois among them are not up to one, one, two, or three. But the commoners, the <laughs> commoners that cannot even feed themselves, that does this job or true are more. Mm. I get it, I understand what they say is true. I get it that those ones are there. Most times those are the ones they call their, uh, their unit aid, they are this one, they are that one, they give those ones things. But you have more of them that goes with, that don't, don't even have sticks, but want to stop what is happening. So we cannot also stop that. Away. But the truth remains that uh, what uh, my leader Allah said is true. If you really know that these people have done well, me, I do my best that whenever I see them, whenever I see them anywhere, whenever I see them, sometimes they might not be money, but I just sit with them, encourage them, and tell them that this work you are doing, may God see you through. And my leader also said, if you die on this issue, We've also lost some of them. I think you are aware. We've also, yeah, and yeah. voluntary dates. That have to do for the family. No, 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 no. And somebody has volunteered. So if I also don't want to volunteer tomorrow, watching and taking a swipe from those that did volunteer before and lost their lives yeah. and nothing was done, why will I? What will happen to my, my siblings, my kids, my wife? Are you getting that? So if they are being encouraged, People, we want to volunteer the more to say, okay, look at Mr. Jude that lost his life that day. Government has given the wife job. Government has taken charge of the kids. So I'm cool. Yeah, it's cool. So I don't look at it to say, okay, for me to be here doing nothing, let me sit with these people. If I do it, then there's somebody that will remember. So if you are not also going to give them money, you can also give them insurance, collective insurance to say, we want to be paying so 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 and so monthly. Don't give them the money now. Insure them. So that whatever happens to them, their family is aware that an insurance company. They are covered. They are covered. So if that one is also there, you can if you cannot be, if you can, if you can uh, if you cannot throw blue, try to throw slap. If you cannot throw slap, try to talk with mouth. Do something to make sure this fight is also okay. So the government can say, okay, I don't want to pay you. I'm not paying you. If I pay you the way Barisa has said, uh, Miss Cat will enter a party, will take a jacket. Yeah, so give me the names of those that are working. Just give me. Mm -hmm. And keep working. And an insurance company, we say the Marshall and Co. Insurance mm -hmm. Investment. Just insure their insure lives. Insure their lives. Go and insure yourself. So that even when you are fighting those uh, uh, bandits or anything, you will remember that no, my wife will not suffer. These, these people go. Edo must be safe. Nigeria must be okay. So we cannot just also say because we don't want to pay. They should be encouraged. That is my own. Uh, there must be something. Yes, because we, we, the truth must also be. People are so. We must not shy away from the fact. People are so of help to them. Yeah. People are so of help. I, uh, I think there's a, 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 a group I belong to that he, he, uh, 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 do this worldwide. Yeah. That came with uh, walkie-talkie. That came with gadgets and very many, close to a thousand. And it was distributed. I also took them from place to place to say, see. These people help. And when we now saw the numbers, we saw that even what we brought. What that, no, 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 because we are just talking about Edo. It's in the one in the eventually in the 194 words in Edo, which we have. So going virtually to go from word to word. I'm just talking about Sakumbaru, talking about Ringo, talking about Obapala. So this is a minute area. In this vicinity where we are now, Uba Oasis, Oluku Oasis, there's vigilante. I get it. If you go to my mother's village, Ogata, there's vigilante. If you go to his own village, uh, there's vigilante. If you go to Ala, Ala, yes. if you go to your place. So the one I said was giving something. I'm not sure I got to his place. I'm not sure. So if government also now help the more, the bank help the more, every 
government can also, okay, without also is give make policy mm. to say if a, a, a bank or a company, Coca-Cola, you are close to supply road, oh take charge of the, the entire vigilance in that region. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I get it now. University of Benin, you are too poor. Take charge of the entire vigilance in this region. Mm. Uh, hey, you, you are there. That government can also make policy right. to help. Okay. Not just keeping quiet to say after two years give them one year now to move from one place to the other. That is sort of that is not the type of help I'm talking. You heard him. <laughs> Wait, I like the word he used. He said give them Siena. He has agreed that they give Siena. <coughs> Siena is encouragement. He is now saying Siena is not the kind of help. Probably if money oh, wow. is given now, they will also say money is not the kind of help. Talk is about it? Insurance. <laughs> <laughs> well, or insurance. insurance. Yeah, insurance. Now. Yeah. The same position I'm making. If it's time to insure now, you discover that those that whose names will come were not those there. You see, I was saying something, you know, like you talked about. A man that can bring up over half a million to buy a gun and then buy cartridges or keeps buying cartridges, like I say, because of that. Well, is it poor? That is what he is saying. Is it the actual situation? Because the ones around me, so many of them, they all have. And they bought it expensively. No, you live, I, you live, wait, you live in the big wait, wait, I don't know where you say. I say, I say, no bower here. You are, you are the bourgeois. We know you people. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? In my area, the vigilantes that are working there, we pay them. Uh, even along uh, opposite UPTH, the vigilantes that are there, they are paid. They gather money, they pay them. They are covering the area. You understand what I'm saying? So I really don't understand where this cry is coming from. You volunteered. Government has given Vienna. I will, what I expected them to be saying now is that let technology come in. Like I'm reliably informed, in as much as I wouldn't want to be quoted, that as we speak now, most of these traffic lights, eh, street lights, they have cameras. Technology these days, I mean, uh, uh, security these days, no issue of uh, manpower. It's an issue of technology. Right? If that one comes to play, it will reduce their jobs. You understand? That's, these are the areas I think we should be thinking about when you talk of a security vote and all that. Not going to share to people who may have not even be the people who are actually doing the job. All right. Thank you. Thank you so, so much, Barista. That will be both of your last line in this discussion because our time is up. Uh, uh, well, Barista, Alao, on this platform, I choose to maintain Barista. We all know that you're an Islamic scholar. We know that too about it this time around. Uh, at least being a mouthpiece of the law for now. In uh, summarizing all of the points given, and I'm going with the art of some vigilantes right now making themselves like, you know, bouncers going about ceremonies, social gatherings just to make ends meet, abandoning what they volunteer to do because, like what I said in the answer, some persons that are doing vigilante work, they choose to leave their post because no encouragement. They are now beginning to follow people that are like, you know, organizing social events and the rest of them just to make ends meet. How do you think? That both end the government, the volunteers are volunteering to give them money, and of course, the can work hand in hand to make a those state safer. Your last line. Thank you very much. I think uh, in order to collaborate, uh, for them to come together, uh, the uh, government should uh, be proactive and be sensitive to observe what is actually going on in the state. And of course, we have the House of Assembly. Uh, to also play some roles if they feel that, oh, maybe we need to encourage the executive to uh, uh, make some inputs. Because we have those who are representing us at the House of Assembly. Therefore, those who are individualized, the they should uh, not be discouraged, they should continue with their effort. Sometimes when you are close to help, you are almost getting discouraged. Maybe the F is already very close to them. So they should continue with what they are doing. And then from the religious point of view, whatever you give to assist people, of course, will be a protective shield for you. For example, it's been said that when you give out cloth in charity, the giver will remain under the protection of God as long as a rag of that cloth remains on the body of the wearer. Give out money, give out food, whatever you give, it's enough protection for you. The stray bullet not hit you because we are not giving out 20 naira. Maybe safe for a stray bullet. So all hands should be on deck to ensure that the state, the country at large, is actually secured. And for those who are into crime, we appeal to you, ritualists, Yahoo boys, please desist from crime and they try to be godly. And we also encourage those who are vigilantes, you not say, oh, because I need money, let me go and join Yahoo and make some money. 
is criminal. We pray that Almighty God give us a better country. Thank you, thank you so so much, gentlemen. I appreciate a wonderful analysis. We can just go on and on talking about this particular issue. But the point has been raised. We talked about the long tree. I said, look, since you talked about voluntary, it's not a must, but uh, voluntary, according to all our discussions, even barrister said, look, you can volunteer to give it to them. You can really volunteer to make sure that volunteer groups in your area are well taken care of because we are free of a situation whereby the protector becomes the predator. That is what everyone is praying against and how can this be prevented? Take care of your security personnel, whether yes. police, soldier, army, vigilante, you have to take care of them. And of course, the government of the day also can do more. Take them seriously. Encourage them. Perform gadgets. Stomach infrastructure is that they have wife, they have kids. They need to pay rent. They need, they need to go to school. Come on, what are we talking about? Please, please, please. Gentlemen, thank you so much for a divergent view. Though we're going to the same direction. I appreciate the wonderful analysis. Hope the government uh, watched and listened. And I believe that something positive will be done for these persons risking their lives day and night to keep a door safe. After all, take a look at what happened to you tonight. Very cool, calm. We want it to continue. Please encourage these people. Bye for now.